Matilda Ziegler was subsequently cast as Irma Gobb, Mr. Bean's girlfriend, and was the show's only returning character. Irma's character, I'm so pleased to say, was actively encouraged to be a bit sort of stroppy. <laughs> They were equally self-centred, which is why I thought they came together really well. <laughs> he met his match. <laughs> no! Matilda Ziegler has got a fantastic deadpan. All the life drains from her body, deliberately becoming part of the background. <laughs> Except when he goes blank and then it's your turn. The last episode Irma appeared in was Merry Christmas, Mr Bean. It was watched by 19 million viewers. Christmas shopping is going on, and Mr. Bean accidentally gets given a baton to conduct the Salvation Army band that's playing carols. Now, you could do that one way, which is just chaos, but what we wanted to do was something much more precise. <laughs> And the delight, I think, is seeing that work itself out and the fantastic precision and beauty of his physical comedy. So yeah, there were two turkeys. One of them was absolutely brilliant, but not quite right. It was smaller. And then on the day, this thing arrived. I thought of the idea for the turkey on a Christmas day. Because <laughs> I was shoving stuff into a turkey, and then I just thought, oh. And just that moment when he, he rises up into shock, you think, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Mr. Bean walking around with the turkey on his head looks like an alien creature from another place. There's something, he came from somewhere else. Are you all right in there? Well, it's fine, thank you. Christ alive, if someone came down from Mars and saw this, they would destroy the planet, wouldn't they? <laughs> the catchphrase of all the rehearsals was, will they get it in Egypt? The idea was that it had to be something that every person in the world would get. <laughs> 